bottom line, whatever situation you're in, stay true to your own values and always be authentic at all times. My advice for uh, scholars or people that would want to go into the program is uh, to always uh, pursue their dreams and never give up on their dreams and also to um, share the experiences. You never know what someone else might gain from your experiences. Don't be scared to do stuff. Uh, like South Africa has so much to offer and to immerse yourself in their culture is just something you won't regret. Get to know your students, like actually interact with them. Don't just go to class and teach and then go back to your office and don't help them out. You actually have to interact with your students. Go for it, for one. Um, definitely like be courageous, right? Don't, don't let fear stand in the way of you taking on new challenges. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Um, and couple that, that, um, that courage with humility, recognizing, you know, when you do make mistakes, uh, and that way you can learn from them and, and move on. Sometimes I think that we're very individualistic where we're from, but going abroad somewhere else will help you realize areas where you might be strong and can help others, but open you up to the possibility of learning so much from the people around you. Um, I would just say go in with an open attitude, an open mind, um, and do your best to learn from every experience because there's experts in the field there that can teach you so much. The most important thing I would, I would say is to keep an open mind, uh, be willing to embrace new experiences. Um, uh, that has been the main lesson for me, the lesson I've learned from this. Fear is always stopping you um, from taking that uh, extra step and I, what I'd want to say to somebody who's interested is just to get over that fear because I think just taking that first step will lead you to a, um, a, like a, a, a lot of possibilities, like a potential of like so many possibilities because the fact that I did this QES uh, scholarship in Uganda, not only have I made amazing friends there, I've also networked with so many incredible people um, here in Canada I and mean, it'll definitely like open up doors uh, for a variety of possibilities that you could, that'll, you know, change your life completely. So I think um, realizing that now, I mean, I'm not as hesitant. Go with an open heart. Uh, don't go with assumptions or pre uh, preconceptions of what, what you feel. Uh, more like uh, just having, um, embracing what they're going to teach you and now as well as the cross-cultural learning that's going to happen. What you come to do, you wouldn't understand it now. Later on, you'll be like, oh, I remember doing that in Canada or that happened and oh this makes sense or you implement things that you don't realize and it becomes part of you later on and it helps you professionally, personally, all these things. So just come with an open mind and to learn. The world is an open space for you, it's an open canvas. Don't let go of that opportunity. Go out, experience, get lost. I mean, that's the best way that you can see what the world has to offer, what you can offer to this world. Because you will never know your place in society until you engage with the communities, not just locally, but also abroad. Think, plan, and engage. Um, and the way I see it is, you can only plan so much, but then you have to have an open mind for what's gonna come your way. And for me, it was being able to travel to refugee camps. If you're there and you're frustrated and maybe something isn't going right or you don't understand something, the lesson that's going to come out of it at the end is going to be so worth it. And it's hard to see when you're in a place where you don't know anyone. You don't really know maybe what's going on or you're frustrated at cultural differences. It's all, just have some faith that it will all make sense.